Okay, for number 37, they're asking us for a lot of different things. So let's start with A and B that they're asking us for. For A, they're asking us to modify the graph by adding the least number of edges so that the resulting graph is complete, uh, and then to determine the number of Hamilton circuits for the modified graph. So we need to take this graph that they've given us and make it a complete graph. And if you remember the rule, a complete graph has edges from every vertex to every other vertex. So any possible edge is there. So let's start with A and make sure that A is connected to everything else. Well, A is not connected to B, so we need to connect it to B. Uh, a is not connected to C, so we need to connect it to C. A is already connected to D, it's already connected to E, so we're good to go. Alright, B. Well, we've got a connection to A now. Let's draw an edge between B and C. Uh, there's already an edge between B and D. Already an edge between um, B and E. So we've got that taken care of. C. C is now, well, it's adjacent to A. It's adjacent to B. It's adjacent to D, it's adjacent to E, so C is already adjacent to everything. Oh, my cell phone's talking to me. Okay, <laughs> excuse the interruption. Um, D, D needs to be adjacent to A, it is, it's adjacent to B, it's adjacent to C, needs to be adjacent to E, and E is now adjacent to everything. So we've added in the edges that we need to to um, make this a complete graph. Again, a complete graph is just every vertex is adjacent to every other vertex. That means there's an edge between A and all of the other vertices. There's an edge between B and all of the other vertices. There's an edge between C and all of the other vertices. There's an edge between D and all of the other vertices. And there's an edge between E and all of the other vertices. So we've got a complete graph now. And we have a rule about complete graphs that's going to help us answer how many Hamilton circuits there are in the graph. And the rule is, however many vertices in the complete graph, subtract one and that factorial is how many, um, how many Hamilton circuits will be in this graph. So we've got one, two, three, four, five vertices. So five vertices means that there are four factorial circuits. Oops, I cannot spell circuits for the life of me. <laughs> All right, so what was four factorial? Let's go over how to find that on your calculator again. Four factorial, you want to type in four, and then factorial is under the probability key, P-R-B if you're on this same type of calculator. So we take PRB and arrow over to the exclamation mark and hit enter and that's 4 factorial which is 24. So 5 vertices means there are 4 factorial circuits it means there are 24 Hamilton circuits in this graph that we drew. Okay, and now they're asking us to find, for part, uh, part B, to find two Hamilton circuits in this graph that we've modified. So let's go ahead and do it. I think probably the easiest one for me to think about on any of these complete graphs is just go from one vertex to the next. So the first one will go A to B, B to C, and I think we did these with squiggly lines. So squiggly lines, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to A. Is that a Hamilton circuit? Absolutely. How do we know it's a Hamilton circuit? It hit every single vertex once and only once. So our first Hamilton circuit is a B, C, D, E. And can we find another one? Well, I just need another color here. Find another color. Let's go ahead and choose a different path. So let's go A to D, D to B, 
B to C. Oh, so yep, C <laughs> to E and E back to A. And I'm sure that's super hard to see, but let's see, we did A, D, B, C, E, and on the first one I forgot it. I don't want to forget it here because I know I wrote notes to a few of you on your uh, on your homework. You got to make sure you include that first vertex a second time. So, okay. We found one that went from A to B to C to D to E to A, and we found another one that went from A to D to B to C to E to A. Those were both Hamilton circuits. Those are two of the 24 possible Hamilton circuits. Um, I don't know about you, but I'd rather not sit here and find all 24 of them. Um, but if you wanted to play around with it a little bit and try to find a few more, you can. So let's go over this one more time. The first thing we had to do was add edges to make this a complete graph. So we just had to fill in the missing edges. If there wasn't an edge between two vertices, we put one in there. That made it a complete graph. So now we have a complete graph with five vertices, and we know the rule is that if it's a complete graph with five vertices, that there are four factorial Hamilton circuits in that graph, which means four factorial equals 24. There are 24 Hamilton circuits in this graph. And we found two of them just by finding two Hamilton circuits. And uh, there's a video about Hamilton circuits. If you're a little bit shaky on that, go back and watch watch the video for what a Hamilton circuit actually is. And if you have any questions on any of this or any of the other homework, shoot me an email and I will gladly, gladly go over it for you.